guys, what's up? Um, back with another video. I promised I'd pull out uh, some of my collection, so I started decided to start with uh, some of the originals. Uh, what we got here in front of me, I call the Holy Trinity, right? We've got uh, obviously the Concords, we've got the Columbias, and the Breads, but as you may be able to tell from the boxes, these are the OGs, the actual OGs, not the ones from 2000, 2001, these are from 95 and 96. My absolute favorite sneaker. Um, I had them when they first released and I fell in love with them then and I still love them now. Um, these are of course all dead stock, all size 13. Um, of course when I was younger, uh, I had all these originally. We got two pairs of them and I wore them to death and now I've got this other set that I never wore. So. I think I paid 120 bucks. I think there's a sticker even on the Columbia's for 119. People always talk about how the quality, quality, quality of the, the new shoes. I mean, the older shoe, they say, oh, the older shoes is better quality. I mean, maybe the leather is like a little bit nicer. It's hard to tell, but I mean, it's even got some creases in it and stuff. And, and it, is, it is nice material, but I think the craftsmanship is much better these days than it is, than it was back then. I mean, on some of these, if you look closely at the sole, you can see that they've, you know, it's hard to see maybe on the camera, you can see that like, like where the midsole kind of goes in, they, they don't even have the, the outsole up, up, up to that groove. So just little things like that, but you know, back in the day, like, you never noticed that stuff. You just didn't care. Like, if you had them, you had them, and you were, you were grateful to have them. I mean, the boxes, you can see, um, they came in this black box with the, with the Jumpman Air Jordan here. Some of them came, in fact, the first pair I had actually came in a, in an orange box, kind of like with their retro. Let me show you, like, everybody knows this box now. It's, it's the orange. The original one had a big swoosh. It was the same colors, but it just had the swoosh. I think a lot of the 12s were released in that, but when I bought the Columbia's, they came in, the, my first pair actually came in a box just like that. Um, you know, you can always tell the OGs a lot of times from, of course, the reverse jump man. Um, that's usually a pretty obvious sign. On the breads, if you look closely on the patent leather around the edge, it's got like a white. It's not. It's not dyed black. It's actually white. That's always a good, a good indication. But anyway, um, thought I'd break these out so you guys could see what the actual OGs look like. I mean, these are actually 20 years old. You know, people always say, oh. You know, midsoles are going to crumble after 10, 15 years. I mean, I don't know if I'd wear these, but you can see the midsoles are still soft. They're not going to crumble. You know, everything looks really good on them. Nothing's breaking down. I remember when, my, when I got these, um, my buddy walked in the gym wearing them. His, his name's Terry. And I immediately was like, I have to have those. So I left school, went to the mall. Um, back then you could just walk in, it was really nice. Went to the mall, got my pair, and came right back. And so me and Terry were the first ones to have it. In fact, I'm still good friends with Terry. Terry has actually lives in Los Angeles and two or three times has actually uh, got the, the Yeezys for me through the Adidas Confirmed app and just sent them to me. So it's been really nice knowing Terry because he has access to the Adidas Confirmed app in LA. Um, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to, to get these out, let you guys take a good look at them. You know, there's not a whole lot of yellowing. I mean, you can see the sole on these Columbias is like basically perfect still. You would never know it. That is one thing I know about the older rubber. It seems like they did use maybe a little bit higher quality material to prevent the yellowing because you don't see it. I mean, the patent leather is slightly starting to yellow. You get a little bit of yellowing here on like the eyelets, but I mean, I've seen pairs from 2000 that were way worse than these that are that were dead stock so pretty happy with how these have, have made it through the years um anyway i don't know what else we can say about them but i just definitely wanted you guys to take a look at them because you don't get to see like the whole set every day um i'll keep showing you guys more stuff but i thought everybody would appreciate a good look at the the uh, original air jordans probably of you know, the greatest sneaker ever made. I know that when these, the breads came out, they were like extremely popular. Uh, everybody wanted them and it's, in my opinion, probably 
These are probably the greatest sneakers ever made. This is what started it right here. This pair. I remember when I saw these, I, I wanted them so bad. By the way, these, these came out, so these came out in 95. Uh, I think it was November 95. This, I think, was February of 96. And these also came out in 96, but people think they came out in 95. I mean, Jordan might have had them in 95, but he, these came out in 96. Jordan obviously wore these in the playoffs. Everybody knows that. Thought I would start with this. My favorite sneaker, I hope you guys like it. I'm glad you guys got a good look at it. Hopefully everybody will subscribe, comment, uh, like this, share it with all your friends. I got tons more to come. To me, this is the greatest set of sneakers ever made. Um, people can argue that, but this is what I think. So anyway, appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, stay tuned, my wife and I are heading to Stockholm. We're gonna go to sneakers and stuff, and probably Cali Roots and some of the stores there. So we'll bring you guys along with, uh, with us. Um, but uh, stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe, and we really appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.